show is what you thought it is. It is. I don't know about uh, highlights yeah. program with the Bears and the Cardinals. Inactive. That's a man. Over. Inactive. Deactivated. More on that in a moment because of an ankle injury. We want to start off this uh, highlight with the fourth play of the game. It's not just the Tim Hightower 13-yard rush, but it's Tommy Harris on top of Deuce Latouille. Whoa, oh, that's 50 throwing grand. Throwing a punch in front of the lawyer, Ed Hockley. That's, that's at least 15 50 yards. grand. Ed doesn't miss that. And the gate. He can find big fella. See ya. Ejected. Send me that money. Four plays later, Kurt Warner to Larry Fitzgerald. They caught him in man. The man got a little pick. Nice play. Touchdown. 7 0 Arizona. Bears next possession. Jay Cutler trying to respond, and he does so with. My baby. Devin uh, Hester. Against my baby. He was questionable like Bolden as well this week, but Hester played Bolden and not again. More on how Anquan found out about his deactivation. Great coverage for Akumar. Well, great catch. That was beautiful. Let's continue with this highlight. Greg Olson had a day, a three touchdown day. This one tied the game midway through the first quarter. 33 yards. Cutler 5 to 6, 90 yards on the drive. Looks like we've got ourselves a ball game in Chicago, but Kurt Warner got the ball back and found Larry Fitzgerald again. He would find Fitzgerald nine times on the day. Maybe the best hands in the league. Wow. Nice grab. Eight plays later, third and five, it's that Warner to Ben Patrick combination oh, you like to look out for. Reset his feet, brought his eyes, found him in the back of the end zone to Patrick. That was excellent by Kurt Warner. Two touchdowns for Warner. After a Bears punt, sixth play of the drive. Make that three touchdowns for uh, Warner. As nice he, corner route, Coach. As Fitzgerald waves the ball over the pylon. Yeah, we call that a Colorado. Great route. 21 corner. to 7. Bears punt again. Nine plays after the punt. Plus side of the field again. Steve Reston's got the ball coming around. Good run. 25 yards for a first down. He's the all-time leader in uh, returns in Big Ten history. Is that a Michigan guy? Defense. we got to talk positively somehow about the Mason Blue. Next play, Anthony Beck. That's four touchdowns for Warner. He had five interceptions last week. Four touchdowns in the game to this point. 28-7. Arizona going away at half. It was such a blowout that Ken Wisenhunt took Warner out of the game in the fourth quarter and put Matt Leinard in. Why not? Well, this is why not. Uh, this is why. Interception. We'll make a tackle. Zach uh, Bowman returns it to the 28. Bears are loving. Leonard's bumming. He he was he was the quarterback in that game where the Bears came back in the Cardinals in the famed crown him game. He was trying to help him this time. So he's now watching Jay Cutler find Greg Olson for a third time. I told you there's three touchdowns. Here's another one of them. It's 34-21. Nice concentration, Bo. Bears are now two touchdowns away from taking the lead. So Ken Wisdom wound up putting so you got Kurt Warner back in. But before he did that, Jay Cutler threw a pick to Matt Ware. Right and there. Warner threw a fifth touchdown pass on the day. Mm. The Cardinals pop a 40-burger on Chicago. They are now 5-3. and three. The Bears fall to 4-4. Four and four. The Chicago Sun-Times having some uh, fun at uh, Tommy Harris's expense. Punching bags, they term the Chicago That's Bears. That's a good one. The Bears fall to four and four. Now, as for Anquan Bolden, he had an ankle injury, was questionable. Uh -huh. He seemed good. We, we had video of him running around pretty nicely in right. the NFL game day morning. So this is how he found out about his deactivation. Give a listen. Only thing I can say was, you know, when I came in here, my stuff was in the locker. I went out, warmed up, felt great, came back in, everything's gone. That's how you think they ever explained it to you? No, nobody was man enough to come to me and, and tell me what was the situation. So, I mean... I would have probably felt better if somebody would have been man enough and walked up to me and told me what the situation was. But I had to walk back in the locker room and find all of my stuff gone. My biggest concern was the field, the condition of the field. It was just thick. It was loose. I was, I, the footing on it wasn't great. We'd seen on a number of, of games before guys slipping and falling. I was afraid he could easily turn his ankle on that field trying to come out of a break. And um, that was really what it was about. 